Howdy and welcome to another video. Today we are doing something brand new. We are gonna start fishing some BFS gear. You're probably asking yourself, Ramon, why would you do that? You have ultralight rods, you like to throw spinning gear. The reason is for clout. But the serious answer is because I wanna try it out. I wanna see what it's like, see if I like it better for some slightly heavier stuff. See what the experience is like before I start to discount it. So. We have one goal today and the goal is to figure out how this works, get effective at casting. A bonus goal is catching a fish. We have the mini Texas rig tied on. It's a 1 ounce bullet weight with the burrow bug on it, size four EWG. So we're gonna toss this around a little bit, catch some fish. Like I said before, the goal is to figure out this setup. And what I mean by that is, is just how to effectively cast it. Cause I mean, y'all know I'm not really that good at traditional bait casters as it is so we're gonna try to just not backlash this this is a bfs setup so everything's a little bit lighter i have eight pound braid with a um, four pound mono filament leader so i just want to be able to actually fight the fish whoa that's a weird feeling that was so weird i don't know how to explain it like I don't know, it felt a lot stiffer than I was expecting. I think I was expecting like a similar experience in casting as to when I uh, cast my ultralight rod. I mean, it's casting pretty nicely. Just gotta find some fish now. I don't wanna jinx myself, but still no backlash. Let's ease up on the brakes a little bit. It's on five right now, it's on max. Let's ease it midway down to a four. Ooh, yeah. That really sings. First impression so far is that casting is a little bit different. I'm a little bit about the setup. This is a pretty much budget friendly setup. I think for all of this, it's probably around like $80 to $100. This is the Delicacy C62 from Mavalos. I think that's how it's pronounced. It comes with two tips. This is the lighter tip that I have on, which is a six to eight gram. I think that's correct, or 0.6. I can't read it, it's, 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 it's weird. I'll have to pull it up here on the screen exactly what it is, but. And this is the Develo Acura BFS rod. This is the dual spool, so it has a shallow spool, which I have on, and then it has a deeper spool. I'll link these below if you wanna check them out. And then um, this is just eight pound braid from Reaction Tackle. It's pretty good braid. Oh, I see some. I see some fish. Definitely makes pitching slightly easier. But it's just, it's such a weird sensation. It's like, I can't feel the lure where I expect it to be. The rod's a little bit stiffer than I was anticipating. It does make me... It is easier to make these like short little, oh, I felt that was a bite. I missed it. Making these short little pitches is a little bit easier than with the spinning reel. <sighs> missed it. There must be something tiny out there. That's just not exactly eating it. Do one more cast over there. Got one. Finally. Oh, I lost it. <sighs> I felt my drag slip as soon as I set that hook. I had a hit. Might have been a bluegill and he might have just had a claw for all I know. But that felt like a good bite. I'm not entirely sure how hard I need to set the hook on this thing. I've been doing a lot of reading and my only concern right now is uh, warping the spool. I'm a little rough on my stuff. I don't want to do that. I just did a little backlash there. All right, let's try casting it this way. Good distance. I like that. Ooh. Got one. Oh, did I lose it? No way. That felt like a solid bite. 
What was that? That was so weird. Maybe that was a turtle? Maybe I didn't give it enough oomph. I'm gonna try that cast again. I'm also gonna ease up on the brakes a little bit, get a little bit more, and do slightly below four. Whoa, that was so much further. I've gotten hit. I just can't figure out how to set the hook on this thing. I'm a little timid on setting the hook, really. It just feels like if I set it too hard, I'm worried something's gonna snap. But I'm not I'm not normally that scared with my ultralight setup. So I don't know why I would be scared here. Ugh, what the heck? Again. Yeah, something definitely had at that time. I'm just gonna rip into one. Look at that. That was definitely a fish. I'm just gonna set this hook like nobody's business next time I get a bite. I guess not. Let's try and pitch it right into that little cove right in here. There we go. Oh, first backlash. I adjusted my tension a little bit when I was on that cast. I think I adjusted it the wrong way. Oh. Dadgummit. Backlash number three. This is when we start. This is when it all starts falling apart, boys. <laughs> Just back to back backlash cast. It's a lot more delicate than like traditional BF. Um, I keep wanting to say BFS, but a lot more delicate than traditional bait casting and I can't be as rough as like I do with ultralight but I'm able to cover a little bit more distance which is nice we've been out here for 30 minutes we've gotten a few bites but no fish catches yet let's see if we can change that I always struggle casting over there maybe this will be easier now that I have this oh yeah that was nice Oh gosh, that was a terrible cast. No one got away from me. Got one, got one. Yep, yep. Oh, oh my goodness. This is about as fun as the ultralight. <laughs> it's a little guy. Oh no, he spit it. <laughs> I messed around with him too much. it, <sighs> Man. Right at the bank, too. Whew. That was fun. I mean, uh, technically, that's not a catch, but... Finally got a little bit of a fight. Do a couple more casts in here. Seems like as long, just like a regular bait caster, as long as I keep my thumb on the spool, this isn't gonna overspool. Right now I have it almost in middle breaks. I have the tension just slightly looser than um, what's recommended. And I'm getting the distance I want. That's the thing, I'm getting the distance I want with this. Now we just gotta try and catch a fish. So after getting a few bites, we got one almost caught fish. Came off right when I was about to lift it up. One last cast. See, and I'm not even slinging it that hard. That's the cool part. It's like, it's just like a light little pitch and it's really going. Oh gosh. That, that's not even, that's nobody's fault but mine. I hit this piece of ground here let's see if I can undo this goodness this might be game ending if I can't get it out that's deep that's real deep okay I just have to find the problem it's right here it's me I'm the problem all right I have like nothing to cast now but we're gonna see how far we get anyways. That's about as far as I get. The problem is it's just so deep in the spool. Like, 
The only thing I can think of doing is like cutting a bunch of line out. But I don't want to have to do that. So uh, we're just going to try and fish with this. I don't, I don't have that much casting distance now. I don't have any casting distance actually, but we're going to try. I just want to catch at least a fish. Okay, we got a little bit of distance. But if we hook in a fish, like, it's like, get ready, because it's going to be a heck of a fight. Got one. Got one. A bluegill. <laughs> of course it's a bluegill. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, whenever I try something new, it always has to be a blue can. <laughs> Even with this disaster of a setup right now, I still managed to snag a fish. Whew, I thought we were going to get skunked for real. That was harder than I feel like it should have been. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Did I just backlash again? I sure did. Double backlashed. <laughs> I don't have enough problems. I guess this is what I get, really. For not paying attention. I guess I must have had my lure dangling too low. Something. That's alright. Fix it when I get home, I guess. As long as I don't hook into anything big. Ooh. Ah. Ah. There we go. There we go. There we go. Got him. Got him. A bass, baby. Nice bass. Not too shabby. Who said you can't get fish with a backlash reel, man? That's awesome. Heck yes. Nice little quarter pounder. I'm gonna put him back. So, first impressions, besides me completely like wrecking my line, um, I like it. I like it so far. I feel like I can cast a lot farther. Maybe not more accurate, because st I still gotta work on my cast. But I feel like I can cast farther when I don't have a big backlash in my line. Um, the thing that I do need to work on is being mindful of what's around me when I'm casting. That's how I ended up with this jumbled up mess and only able to cast like 15 feet in front of me. Um, but besides that, the castability is good. The fight is fun. I'd say about as fun as an ultralight. I still got to work on my hook set. There was a few fish that I caught or not caught, but uh, got a bite from that I just couldn't get the hook in it. I lost one at the bank over there, lost a few over there, um, but overall, I like this. I don't regret this purchase at all. The only regret I have is that I backlashed right when I was starting to get the hang of it, um, but it did let me work a little bit, and I was able to catch two fish, so that's a win. I'd say. I mean, I'd call that a win. All in all, this was fun. I'm definitely gonna come and do it again. I still have to try out the Cast King Zephyr that I bought and see how that runs compared to this. And who knows, maybe this is something that I keep doing. I expand, I test out the more expensive reels because I know Daiwa has some BFS, Shimano has some BFS. There's quite a few uh, reel makers that do BFS. So I'll check them out potentially we'll see how it goes let me know what you guys thought do you fish bfs is it something that you're interested in seeing like i said i'm learning i'm watching youtube videos i'm gathering information making sure that i'm having a good time out here that's the whole point so everything i use will be linked in the description down below happy fishing and god bless